home of Liverpool Football Club. Robert. Jeremy, uh, a deafening roar, uh, even more deafening than the roars we've been experiencing all afternoon as the vehicles and police horses slowly edge their way through uh, this crowd here. Right in front of the Paisley Gateway, Bob Paisley, obviously the manager who ushered a golden era of the 1970s. Some people here saying maybe Benitez is the man to usher in a golden era in the 90s. There are lots of fans here who have obviously been waiting for a very long time to wish him and obviously the team well. Uh, the cup will be going past, uh, obviously, the, the cop and the, the Paisley Gateway. And uh, when this whole parade is finished, the cup will be coming back here uh, for a permanent place in the silverware cabinet. Now, we are having the press bus just uh, moving past us now in front of the, uh, the cop sign edging its way through. Uh, the atmosphere really has been extraordinary all day. How they've managed to uh, to keep up this level of energy uh, has, uh, has been a miracle. We've been flagging at some points, I have to say, uh, just to see all of the uh, the helium balloons of the uh, of the cup floating above. Now some, uh, some smoke bombs are going off, flags being waved, scarves held aloft, rapidly printed T-shirts worn with pride here this evening. And just as they uh, make their way through, you can see people on the top of the railings clinging on with one hand and holding up mobile phones and cameras with the other to take pictures of the team as they uh, come through. Not quite knowing uh, whether to, uh, to clap, snap a picture, wave a flag. Uh, obviously, uh, some of them are doing all of, all of that. There are some people quite precariously perched all around us, hanging out of uh, pub windows just the ones on the on the railings and here comes uh, the bus now edging down edging down the Walton Breck Road which obviously is the the cop side the cop one of the the most famous uh, sporting venues uh, in the world not just uh, in Britain and here uh, they come through now Robert terrific scenes that we're seeing in our first chance for a good half hour or more to get a close-up view of those heroes Stephen Gerrard with the scarf in the near corner of the bus, and John Arnarisa once again gets his hands on the trophy. It's been almost glued to those Norwegian hands for a large part of this trip. Now, Xabi Alonso in the white shirt, the man who saw a penalty saved during the match and then was fastest to react and banged in the rebound. The man who made the score three all with that third goal in the space of six minutes as Risa starts a bit of a dance with the trophy to his uh, left. You see uh, Jamie Carragher with his uh, arms folded across the front of the bus, a real hero for Liverpool, struck by cramp in all parts of his body, but kept throwing himself at the Milan raids in the dying periods of the 90 minutes and then extra time to keep the score at 3-3 and give Gerard and his men the chance to win on penalties. We've seen uh, Yetzi Dudek as well at the back there, right at the very back. Um, the goalkeeping hero who saved, saw another one blazed high over the bar and made that fantastic double save just at the end of extra time from Andrei Shevchenko, perhaps the most feared striker in Europe as a helium filled balloon is punched with the football, punched by Steven Gerrard into the, into the crowd. And Robert, Robert Nisbet, the, this is what they've been waiting for for so many hours. Absolutely. I mean, there are some people who have uh, who have been here since last night. Some people we spoke to who haven't gone to bed, decided just not to go into work today, uh, and have been uh, out on the streets ever since. We've spoken to people from uh, various different countries. In fact, uh, just next to us for most of the afternoon was a, a Polish team. Obviously, uh, the goalkeeper Dudek, one of uh, their national heroes, and uh, a man who is uh, now dearly loved in this uh, city as well. Now, what seems to be happening as the bus files through, I imagine this has happened along the route that people are, are following on their way uh, on their way to you, Jeremy. People clambering down from the railings uh, he and heading into uh, the city centre. Thanks, Robert. Let's just bring in Nick Powell, who can uh, give us a little bit more on uh, the players we can see there. You know a fair bit about them, Nick, and... Uh, you can pick them out for our uh, football fans who'd like to know a bit more about them. Indeed, and just uh, just for the moment, they've uh, they've come to a bit of a halt, but I'm sure the the way will be cleared again. The you've seen a couple of shots of the two men. At the